after the death of her older sister Ursula, Morgana takes action to finish what her sister had started in The Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea. Morgana longed to take control of the oceans. She was persistent, cunning, and manipulative, making her a dangerous threat to King Triton and his subjects. But was she really attempting to take over the ocean because of her own desire, or was she really attempting to prove herself to her judgmental and cruel family? Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today I'm going to analyze Morgana's full story. If you would like to learn more about Ursula and Morgana in the comfort of your own home, I've provided all of the links to the movies and the resources I used in the description. And to continue discussing Disney with me, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Morgana's tale is one of vengeance, but not in the way you may think. She originally acknowledges at the beginning of The Little Mermaid 2, Ursula would have simply loved to have come, but something came up. Yes. You all shish-kebobbed her! Now is that fair, Gramps, I ask you? Making it seem like she is motivated to take vengeance against those who destroyed her sister. But I don't think this is the case. Morgana, of course, would have enjoyed ruling the sea and stopping those who opposed her. But that is not the reason she is driven. Instead, I believe Morgana was really in pursuit of proving herself to her cold and cruel family. I see her story as tragic and misguided instead of pure evil like her sister Ursula. Ursula was the sea which everyone knew. Ursula was the one banished from Atlantica. Ursula was the one who gave her life pursuing control of the entire ocean. Ursula is the witch everyone feared and hated, leaving her sister Morgana feeling she had nothing and their mother made it very clear to Morgana she was nothing. That's all my mother ever did was criticize me! It was always Ursula this, or Ursula that, or Morgana, why can't you be more like your sister Ursula? From the moment she was born, Morgana was always seen as second best in the eyes of Morgana's mother, leaving her longing to prove herself throughout her life. Morgana did struggle in some areas compared to her sister. For example, she couldn't create potions as powerful as Ursula's. Oh, it's just no use. The power of the trident is just too strong for me to overcome. But she was determined to succeed and hated being compared to her sister. I bet Ursula could have done it. What was that you said? <laughs> Stop! Criticizing me! All of this hatred and resentment built up within Morgana. So when Ursula dies, Morgana has the chance to finally complete something her sister never could. She possessed the same goal as Ursula, but wanted to complete it to prove her self worth. Finally, I'll succeed at the one thing my sister never could. During the first attempt by Morgana to take control of the sea in The Little Mermaid 2, she interrupts the party celebrating the birth of Ariel's daughter Melody with the help of her shark undertow and her manta rays cloak and dagger and steals the child. <laughs> Ursula's crazy sister! Morgana! By threatening the child's life, King Triton feels obligated to give up his trident to the witch, but through Eric and Ariel's actions, they recover Melody, sending away Morgana in a cloud of ink. Through the reactions of both Sebastian and Triton, the existence of Morgana was known, but they were under the impression she was either not evil, not confident, or too weak to attack the kingdom, seen through their shocked expressions. Since Sebastian does call Morgana crazy, I think they knew she didn't have the strongest morals, but by undertow stating, Your fault that we can never show our faces in polite society again! She was likely just a unique member of society, only related to a terrible sea witch until her scheme to blackmail Triton. Now that she had revealed herself to the world, to ensure she was hidden from Triton, Morgana retreats to her lair within the Arctic for 12 long years, until another plot to rule the sea comes to fruition. When she sees the young Melody holding the locket that would show her she has a lineage tied to Atlantica, Morgana decides Melody would be the tool to Triton's undoing. After Sebastian fails to stop Melody from going out to sea to discover the secret of her locket, Morgana sends Undertow, Cloak, and Dagger to lure Melody to her lair. When Melody arrives, Morgana expertly manipulates the young girl by welcoming her, sympathizing with her struggles, and revealing the truth behind the locket. 
Then, using the last drop of Ursula's last magic potion, Morgana transforms Melody into a mermaid, solidifying the girl's trust in the witch. With her victory forming in front of her, in the deleted song, Gonna Get My Wish, Morgana reveals her mother should finally be proud of her now that Ursula has failed and she has the chance to succeed. Oh, mommy dearest, you'd be impressed. Morgana, your baby, no longer is second best. Ursula, sweetie, you blew it. Once Melody begins to love being a mermaid, Morgana explains the mermaid spell is only temporary and lies stating the only way to make her a mermaid permanently would be through the use of her trident that was stolen by a deranged kleptomaniac. Determined to live in the ocean away from her deceitful mother, Melody agrees and steals the trident of King Triton from Atlantica. Melody arrives to Morgana, but just before she plans to hand over the trident, Ariel arrives revealing to Melody her mother has been searching for her and is really a mermaid. By crafting her words correctly, Morgana convinces Melody her mother has betrayed her, so Melody hands the trident to the sea witch. Morgana confesses that she herself tricked Melody into giving the trident to her and proudly rises to the top of her lair. As humans and merpeople alike arrive to defeat Morgana, she single-handedly destroys Eric's ship, threatens the lives of her enemies, and forces those around her to bend to her will. Morgana's time finally felt like it had come, and she was achieving something that would make her family proud. Oh, wishes do come true. See that, Ma? Who's your favorite now? But as she gloats over her accomplishments, Melody steals the trident and returns it to her grandfather. For her terrible deeds, King Triton locks Morgana within a block of ice and destroys her lair, sending her to the dark depths of the ocean, whimpering Mommy as she sinks. I honestly feel really bad for Morgana. Her goals of ruling over the seven seas isn't noble, and the way she attempts to achieve her dreams is destructive, but I think the reason she initially longed to accomplish these goals stems from her need to impress her mother. She constantly says she despises Triton and Ariel for destroying Ursula, but she also resented Ursula and mentioned frequently she hoped to accomplish something grander than her sister. She was acting to formulate a vision fabricated by another in an attempt to be loved. Morgana was intelligent, charismatic, and could craft some powerful magic, so maybe under the right guidance, she could have risen beyond the evil shadow of her sister. If you enjoyed learning about Morgana, then click that like button, and if you are interested in staying up to date with more Magical Little Mermaid videos, then click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You should definitely go check out my Instagram today, by the way, because I showed off some really cool fan mail sent by some really fun people. So now it's time for the question of the day, sponsored by my patrons. Do you think Morgana was pure evil? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you'd like to check out more Watso videos, then check out some awesome pics over there. And as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.